Shalom, Shalom. Once again, I'm Bon Shemayim back with another one. So today is a little smash up of videos that I put together and kind of uh, edited a little bit. But these videos are going to be discussing the Mark of the Beast and um, Zodiac signs or Zodiac demons, I should say. So without further ado, uh, the water for watching the video. Enjoy. The demonic truth about your Zodiac sign. And zodiac signs. Zodiac signs is actually a demon. A, a demon rules over each zodiac sign. So how they did it was that in the time of Babylonia, they carried on what these Nephilim taught the humans. So they took the sky and divided it up into 12 areas. With each area, they assigned a demon. So they gave it a name. And in Hebrew thought, name speaks of character and function. For instance, if you are a Capricorn, that's your demon that you are assigned to. His character his function is actually your horoscope that's pretty much the function that's the character of that demon and that ex-astrologer Angela Uchi exposes astrology in a way that you've probably never heard before listen to her testimony at the end every zodiac sign is a demon when you come into agreement with the zodiac sign with the birth chart the moon cycles whatever you are literally yoking to a demon of that particular sign or element because you are taking its identity as your own identity you are coming into agreement with the personality traits that the zodiac assigns you right signs you the zodiac assigns you so if you say oh i'm an aries just unpredictable and full of rage that is you yoking yourself to the unclean spirit of that zodiac because demons are spirits without a body they need a home astrological birth chart spoke the demonic prophecy of gemini over me and when i spoke that over myself i was giving the spirit of double-mindedness permission to operate through me and guess what i was i was double minded that's the seal so zodiac sign is a sign it's a seal so you are marking yourself with this demon you are taking on you are giving legal access you are giving legal rights for satan and his demonic hood rats to come into your life because god is a judge satan is always in his court saying uh angela did this so i have legal access right satan knows the law there are spiritual laws at play and he knows the law way better than we as christians know because we're bible illiterate we don't be reading the bible congratulations brother did you just congratulate me for reading if we do read the bible it'd be at the literal level but we don't want to go past and go deeper and to see the spiritual level we perish for the lack of knowledge but satan knows all of the spiritual laws that are at play that's why our lives be messed up a lot of times because we have we have the a spiritual door that's open that is remains open because we opened it because we came into agreement at some point and a lot of us have come into agreement with satan and given him legal access to come in our lives and inhabit it and to wreak havoc is because we run around talking about oh it's i'm an aries i'm a scabby i'm a you literally are saying you are that demon. I'm an, I'm this demon. Come on in me. Well, all of what this demon's character and function is, I take that on. He hooks you with the truth because that's how I got involved in it. And I was like, ooh, okay, you speaking truth right now because Satan can create nothing. He takes the truth. He takes what God has created and he perverts it. He twists it. Like he'll hook you, but then he'll feed you lies and keep you just separated from God. Now you're in covenant with him and you don't know nothing about no covenants. You just think that you covered by the blood of Jesus and that no weapon formed against you so prosper but yet you got a whole demon all up in your life probably multiple in the spiritual realm you have giving legal access legal right to Satan is that it that's it a 425 please all right Kenny keep your mask on sorry we don't take cash okay um one second let me. Sorry, we don't take card either. <laughs> I'm sorry? What am I supposed to use? Can you can you step to the side so you can figure this out? Can I speak to your manager? No! Excuse me. Do, do you guys take checks? We don't need it. I have the money. We don't need it. Okay, what the hell is that? Excuse when was that implemented? I don't have that. Sorry, but we're cashless now. I had to implement the new system just to stay in business. 
It's it's okay, Mom. We don't need it. Let's just let's just go. I hope you understand. Oh, but hey, hey, um, if you want to check out Mike's Corner Store right up the street, you might have some luck. Thank you. Some people are saying this lady took the mark of the beast. I put a microchip in my arm and it's the best thing ever. This chip is a powerhouse. It's got everything I need. My credit card, my ID, my medical info, and even my keys. And when it's time for groceries, you just tap your wrist and bam! Transaction done. It's like magic. In a medical emergency, it can save my life. Experts can easily identify me and my medical history. I feel like a sci-fi character and I'm loving it. If you